The city of Los Angeles has accused the operator of a gun store located within the Los Angeles Police Academy of negligence in its operations and breach of contract, the latest twist in a widening scandal involving stolen firearms landing in the hands of LAPD officers. The claims, made in multiple court cases in the last week, mark the first time since the broader scandal broke last year that the city has taken direct aim at the Los Angeles Police Revolver and Athletic Club, a non-profit organization and gun store with which the city has maintained a relationship f. The city accused the store of sloppy management and record-keeping, of breaching its lease agreement by failing to obtain the proper insurance for the store, and of negligence in its hiring, training and supervision not just of Archie Duenas, the store manager who was convicted of gun theft in the CA. Crane declined to comment on the city's claims Friday, as did the Prix attorneys. The city's claims were made as part of an effort to deflect responsibility in a handful of lawsuits filed by LAPD officers who were caught up in the scandal and now say their reputations were unjustly tarnished because of the collective negligence of the gun store, the city and the LAPD. Whether the city's arguments hold up in court could help determine whether and to what degree city taxpayers are left on the hook to pay monetary damages to those officers if their lawsuits are successful. Regardless, the arguments are the first from the city that take the position that the gun store was not simply the victim of a rogue employee, but was negligent itself, a claim also made by the suing officers. The thefts of dozens of weapons from the store led last year to the arrest and later conviction of Dwinios, but also sparked a sprawling investigation into several LAPD officers to whom Dwinios had sold some of the stolen weapons. Investigators served search warrants at multiple officers' homes, accusing some of knowingly buying the stolen weapons and others of leaving loaded firearms in places accessible to children. Ten of the weapons remain missing. The officers denied knowing that the weapons were stolen, or any wrongdoing on their part. Still, the scandal grew as investigators dug deeper and the captain who initially oversaw the investigation accused top commanders in the LAPD of trying to impede it, 